Hey, little boy, you ready to do this today? Huh? Let's do it. All right, guys, here we are. Got my crew chief with me today. He said he's fixing to put a dead-on 770 tune-up in this thing, so we'll see what happens, but I know one thing. These in the track are a lot better with this little dude right here. Let's get it. Right in the trailer. Put some sunscreen on the intake. Guys, we are out here for the spring 2022 diesel truck horse race, and I promise you it is hotter than donut grease out here. I mean it's I want to say it's almost close to about 98, 99. And you know the deal, diesel truck horse, it ain't diesel truck horse without running the trailblazer in 770. Totally different setup from last year. You know, we used to run the stock motor with a lot of, well, yeah, I guess a lot of nitrous, nitrous converter. Well, this year we've changed it up. Of course, you know, we got the cam only deal naturally aspirated. We, uh, of course, just uh, tested that, that new converter we put in here. And today, because it is so hot and we have a feeling that since they changed some stuff with like run orders, we're gonna be doing a little more hot lap and we actually decided to just go ahead and take the hood off because do not want to have all that heat baking underneath the hood, but we're looking forward to this race. I always, always, always enjoy coming out here. It's just a different kind of change of pace. We haven't even raced since uh, sick week down in Florida, so it's nice to be back here out at the track, but we're gonna be running 770 today. Probably gonna jump an ET just to get the time runs on that. Of course, you know the deal, Chuck's gonna run the dually, so. Old Reliable, the Warthog's gonna try and get some stuff done today. They just called the 670 cars up in the lanes, and we are fixing to go up there right now. I tell you, I feel like one of them uh, 7-Eleven pizzas that's been in the glass thing for like a day and a half, just roasted. <laughs> Old taquito just rolling around in there. I just want to show you what happened on this front here real fast so uh there was one there wasn't a whole lot of water in the water box so got a crappy burnout and uh here's the rpm log right here i mean you can see as soon as it left it just started spinning like crazy it finally grabbed pulled the rpm down and then it started climbing so we've got to control that we gotta control this tire spin before we do anything it did go with 784 but uh yeah, this is not gonna work out. So we've got to calm it down. Uh, pull 300 RPM out of the launch RPM. And then I'm taking 14 degrees out of it, half a second in. So just basically gonna knock all the power out of it as soon as it leaves. And hopefully that does a trick. Once we actually can get it to hook, then I can start figuring out what it's, uh, what it's gonna do here for a consistent number. So let's get this loaded and see what happens.
How'd you do that run? Uh, 938, which is about a tenth faster than it was last time. So and in the heat. It was in the heat, too. And you got your certified ripper over there. The old dually getting it done. the old uh, ticket printer. I might have to put two sets of uh, slicks on the back of mine like the dually yeah, so I can get some traction. Get you another rear end under there and put another set of tires on. <laughs> it looks like the old Gator 6x6. Yeah, my God, man. <laughs> Awesome, man. All right, we're getting ready to go up for uh, our second time runs. I lucked out with a 773 on that last run, so I'm okay with that. We will take that. So here, going to, getting ready to go in the first round for 770. I put a little bit of power back in it, so kind of got us set up for like a 770 or a 771. Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> we got to figure it out a little quicker than I thought, but uh, it's drag racing. Anything can happen, so. And then Chuck, they were like in the lanes right behind each other, so it's kind of hard, hard to film him too, but... Uh, he just went, uh, he slowed up on that one. He went a, a 9.85, so we really don't know what happened there, so I guess we're just going to throw a number on his. Hope for the best. First round, coming up. All right, guys, here we go. Fired up, first round. try and get another shot at the track to try and dial it in a little closer we're running 770 but i figured hey i already paid for the et entry let's just go ahead and use it we're really not expensive a whole lot here but uh hey you never know maybe we'll get lucky i got uh i got my boy trent this round so it's gonna be a good one he's got a lot more seat time on a full tree at this event than i do so we'll see what happens <laughs> guys so totally lucked into that we're not even gonna lie so i was way late and uh trend spun so jumped on the brakes i was ahead of him we got the win and uh now we're going back into into 770 but guys i'll be honest with you as tight as the competition is on the racetrack right now mother nature is probably gonna win this one so fingers crossed but i mean it's probably cooled down 20 degrees and you can see the rain off in the distance over there so i don't know i don't know if we're gonna get get lucky or not i mean you can see the freaking trees blowing like crazy out here the freaking microphone on this thing's probably super windy we've only been one round in each so i do not know maybe we can get another round in really want to get that trophy that's what we came here for i want to see this thing out so we'll see here we go, boys. Round two, 770.
rain's coming. We're going to try and do round two. Can't make any promises here. It is lightning like crazy at the top end of the racetrack. it'll be a miracle but hey stranger things have happened man i hate racing my boy dennis man not not because i don't like to race them but they're just a good group of people as you guys saw we kind of squeaked out the wind there uh, so we're going on to round three of ET and going on to round three of uh, 770. Whew. Here we go. All right, I don't know if you all can see this or not, but we have got rain on the windshield. We're going to go for it. Probably gives a better judgment, but uh, we're getting ready to run third round of 770. So fingers crossed, boys. I really want to win this race. And man, I hope this weather holds out. We uh, on a temporary hold, got the trailblazer in there. Sure enough, we're raining. So they're gonna try, they're gonna try and keep going. We'll see. I mean, problem is the sun's down and we really don't have a whole lot of stuff here to dry the track. So I don't know. Dang it. <laughs> we're on a roll too. Well, we'll keep you guys tuned. Maybe by sure luck, it'll, it'll dry off. All right, guys, they were able to get the track driver going in a third round at 770. It was definitely a great day at the track uh props to the diesel truck wars team as well as northeast dragway especially when that rain came in they were determined to get that race in i wound up third round um i just bowed out of et because at that point they were going to just do a real quick round robin i didn't want to hold the show up so forgo my place in that we just focused on 770 and of course i got beat at both ends of the track uh on our third round of 770 tough break i really wanted to win that race but you know can't win them all unfortunately so we're going to regroup um one thing that i did notice and you guys may even pick up on the video is sometimes when i get on the trans break that thing rolls a little bit more than i would like it to um so i think i need to start exploring that but overall again great time we had a good event and then we are going to be putting all the power back in it and then here just as soon as we can we are going to shoot for that cam only record just kind of going off of the numbers uh, looking at the holly i think we've got everything in place now to get that cam only trailblazer ss record so that's what's next we'll probably stick mandy in it because she's quite a bit lighter than i am and we'll go ahead and try and uh get that but other than that guys just want to leave you with this appreciate all the love thank you so much for the support watching these videos i hope you enjoy them and we'll catch you next time